Hello there. In the other video, we have talked about step one, come up with the structure of your assessment. In this video, we will talk about step two, how to create table of content, list of figures, and list of table in Microsoft Word. So in the last video, the structure we came up with had three main sections. And this is what I have taken over here. So we got the title pages, we got five different pages on it, title page, executive summary, table of content, list of figures, list of table. Then we got the main body where we got introduction, uh, the main task or the main questions, and then the conclusion. And then we have the supporting pages, which is the list of references and the appendices. Supporting pages, which is supporting the whatever you have talked about or discussed in the main body. So the, this is the structure we came up with in the last video. Now let's see how can we create a structure of our report with the headline numbers and uh, anything else which is needed in uh, to create a better structure for your report or for your assessment. Now the first thing we are going to do is creating sections. Now as I mentioned there are three different sections in it. So what we are going to do, we the section will be after the list of tables. Now I click here, enter. So after the list of tables, I give another space, go to layout. In the layout, we go to breaks. In the breaks, I go to section break, not the page break. Section break and next page. Now it will automatically forward the list, the main body to the next page. And that creates a section. So same thing I'm going to do after the conclusion give another space layout breaks and next page and same thing after this there is no need because we got two sections now how do we know the section has been created so we go back to home and we click on this icon here and it will give us that section break has been created here at, the, at this point i'm going to close it now let's look at how can we create page breaks so for example title page needs one full page executive summary needs one full page as well so what we are going to do we click off the title page enter go to layout and this time in breaks we are going to create a page break now page break then it takes the other headlines to the next page then for su executive summary enter and page break again for table of content enter page break again and one page for list of figures and list of tables that should be okay so i'm just going to create click one and uh, put two under here now that has created the page breaks now we don't need page break for the main body uh, we can consider if we need later on but for the supporting pages we do need a page break between the appendix and the list of references so we create a page break here as well. Now that is because we want the appendices to start on a new page. So this is what we have created so far. Now once we have the section breaks and the page breaks in place, now we can work around our the main body. Now in the main body, we start giving the headline numbers. We don't need headline numbers before the main body um, and we do need headline number for the references. So over here, now to give the headline numbers, you go to home, under the home, you caught this pane here and in that you click on headline one and it gives a number headline one. Well, we need, it doesn't need number one to three, we need a chronicle order. So what we have, uh, we, I'm going to click on the headline one, headline two, and headline three. Now, under the introduction, we might not need any other headline, but we need headlines under the main task. So the main task will be headline two, headline number two. When I click on headline one again, it create automatically a headline two. And you will see that these will start appearing on the side box as well. Now on conclusion, again, I'm going to create headline three. Now in that, you might have seen earlier that in the under the main task, you got several different tasks. Maybe you got three questions or two questions. So let's see, let's say we got two questions in our assessment brief. So the question one, 
question one is talking about challenges and that should be that should be under under the headline two so now this will be this is a sub headline this is the main headline this is the sub headline in the sub headline we click on headline two so that automatically creates a number 2.1 now let's say under the question one challenges um, we have two more headlines which is sub sub headline so it could be challenge one and challenge two now these two are sub sub headlines of, of the task now that is related to the sub headlines of one challenges you are talking about challenge one and challenge two so over here you are going to click on headline three and it automatically creates 2.1.1 and 2.1.2 and it gives you a chronicle order um, in over here as well same thing you can do for question two as well now when you click on question two and let's say uh, recommendations so under the recommendation now this is a separate headline this is the second question for that we are going to click on headline two and it create earlier question was written 2.1 and this one is 2.2 and same thing we can talk about recommendation one and recommendation two and we select both and we click on headline three and it gives us more headlines here now once you got all the headlines in place um, you can create more uh, there will be many occasions that you need more than one recommendation more than two recommendation more than two challenges as well uh, it could be critical factors it could be anything uh, it depends on question to question task to task but that is how you will create headline numbers and the proper headline now those headlines you have created here now it will automatically create a table of content like this so you go back to the section where you got table of content you click underneath it go to references under the reference you got the stack table of content in the table of content you can pick and choose what type of table of content you require now i'm going to choose uh, the first one and it gives me the table of content and it gives me the automated page number as well because i haven't filled any information as when you start filling the information that will give you the uh, the right page numbers now once you start working on it and you put the table of content as well now since we got the table of content here i'm going to delete that because i don't need to repeat this so once you got the table of content here any point of time you make changes to it in the main body make any changes page number because when you start filling the information the page number will change as well you can always go back right click on it and update field when you update field it will ask you update the page numbers only or update the entire table i recommend you update the entire table all the time and it will automatically update now once we complete the table of content now this is time for the list of figures and list of table so I'm going to show you an example here. So for example, in challenge one, you are writing something and after that you need to put a diagram. So I'm going to put a diagram here, um, just one image, I'm pasting it here and you got this diagram from somewhere. Now you need to give it a name and a number as well. So just remember one thing, when you're putting a table, the name sh should always be on the top of the table. Or when you're putting a diagram or any image or any figure the name should always be at the bottom now over here the name of i have to put the name of the diagram so i click over here and i go to references again in references i will click on insert caption 
So when you click on Insert Caption, it automatically by default gives you Figure 1. Um, and then you write uh, um, Academic um, Writing Skills. So that is the name of the diagram. And I say OK. And it will automatically populate the Figure 1 here. Now you have to put the source as well. So click, uh, so you enter and take uh, through the tab, take this at the end and then put source and 2022. So you put where the, the diagram has came from. Now the same thing let's say you got several recommendations and under the recommendation you need to put a table so you create a table you go to insert you can also copy paste table from microsoft excel so insert let's say you created a table and you need to give the name of this table so you click over here go to references again insert caption but this time you need table here so the label you are going to change click on it and change it to table so table one and then you say uh, recommendation for change for example and okay okay so this time if you are copying a table from somewhere again you give the source source And then you take it to to align it on the left side. You can either take it with the tab, or you can use a uh, home page and align left or right. So that that is left alignment. Now, once we have all the figures and the tables in place, we go back to our title pages uh, under the list of figure. I'm going to go back click on under the list of uh, figures go back to the references and this time insert table of figures so when you insert figures you choose here which option you need so figures and then okay now it gives you figure one um, uh, aw skills and is on page five same thing for the list of tables enter go to references insert table of figures and this time you're using table and just say okay by default it will give you the table numbers and the list of tables as well so all the tables you have all the figures you have will be listed there and again when you make changes you always go back right click update field and update the entire table as well so it will update the entire table and the page numbers as well. So this is how you create uh, the structure of your report on Microsoft Word with the clear visibility of the content, the list of figures and the list of tables as well. That gives much more visibility to what you have done to yourself and at the same time your professor or your tutor as well. So that gives, uh, you know, what happened when you've got a better structure in place, you will definitely get some extra grades on that. Some of the marking criteria specifically talk about the structure and the presentation, or some of the market marking criteria doesn't talk about it specifically, but you definitely will get better grades if you follow this and if you come up with a better structure for your report. So thank you very much guys. In the next video, we will talk about uh, coming up with a professional title page and how to write the executive summary. Till then, bye-bye.